Hey, welcome back again, guys. It's uh, Ty with another video. And uh, this is that Area 51 I picked up for free. And uh, I think in the last video I had this thing working. When I first got it, it did not work. <clears throat> uh, which I determined was the power supply. Um, the power supply wasn't providing enough power to the hard drive right here. And um, so I was using an external power supply for the hard drive so that it would be enough for it to run. Um, what I've done now is I've actually replaced the hard drive. This no longer is using the hard drive. You can see the IDE cable is not connected anymore. And in the IDE slot, you'll see there is a compact flash to um, IDE adapter right there that's plugged in. And I put the image of the hard drive on the uh, compact flash card there. Now, you see I've got an 8 gigabyte card in there. Um, that's really not necessary to have one that big. But when I went to the store to buy a compact flash card, that's the smallest I could find. So that's what I ended up having to use. Um, Additionally, this thing uses a floppy drive power connector. needs a, needs a external power. Um, so what I ended up doing is I didn't have a straight up IDE to um, floppy connector. I actually took an old power supply that I had and I hacked it apart and I reconnected it up to one of those uh, male to female adapters so that I have a both ends on here. This allowed me this allowed me to plug it into um, into uh, my um, I have a USB ID uh, external drive enclosure, and that's what I use to actually write the image. And so um, I just crimped the two together here, and I've got <laughs> two, for extra length, I have two leads here, but it works fine. I mean, I can actually take these and plug them together. It wouldn't make any difference so that they're just not hanging around. So you just take them right here. It's the same wire. It's not going to make any difference. There you go. And... Um, yeah, so there we go. That's what I put in there. I actually replaced that. Now, um, the compact flash adapter I actually got for free from uh, um, the KLV forums. A great guy on there, uh, Evil Emo, Evil Emu of Doom. <laughs> um, he's the one that sent it to me, and uh, which I really appreciate him doing that. Um, now, the great thing about this is that the um, it's going to be a lot more stable um, in terms of. You know, I don't have to worry about the hard drive failing. I can just, if anything ever happens to the compact flash, I can just replace that with another one. I have the image. Although, since you're not really writing to the to the card, the card should last for a very long time. Um, so yeah, that's that right there. Um, bring it around to the, I'm gonna roll this thing around. Um, as you can see here, I'm just gonna put it back, kinda. All right, so there's the game running. I still need to cap the monitor. The, the monitor is not perfect on it, and I haven't adjusted it really that much. Just a little bit, just to the focus a tiny bit. Um, I put a marquee light up at the top, so now the marquee is lit up. And I put some new keys on the door, so the doors actually lock. I still need to clean that tape off the front. But yeah, so that's it right there. It's working, as you can see. Gun sight. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I should just let my guy die here. Because I don't know if you guys all know about this. So I'm going to show you the uh, Alien Hunter mode for this game. Just gotta let this guy die off. So I'll just shoot that guy. That's enough. And boom! <laughs> Turn these extra lights off here. So it really cause any problems, so I'll leave that one on. Hey. Okay, the secret to this is So 
what you do so let the game play. And you're going to take some damage, but it's not much. You'll still be alive. You wait for your guy to come out. Shoot him once. Ron Hunter. Essentially, you become a predator. Oh, well, they can't say predator because it's not predator. You notice that your your stuff over here, your bullets look different. And so do your grenades. You see your icon is different too. A little harder to know what to shoot in this mode. <laughs> well, that's enough of that. So yeah, so uh, what's left to do on this is to uh, cap the monitor on this and put the new power supply when I get it, which I ordered. Um, now I didn't mention that is the um, since the power supply is not able to power the hard drive, it's probably a sign that it's going. So I'm going to replace that. And I found I found a HAP power supply on eBay for 30 bucks. If you buy them directly from HAP, they're like 80 bucks. So uh, it was good that I was able to find that. So yeah, that's it for this. And uh, as for the uh, Mortal Kombat 4, um, I found I never even opened the coin door in this thing. This thing's never been looks like these, these things have never been taken out of this thing. Um, Yes, yeah, so I opened the coin door on it, and uh, I ordered two joysticks. I ordered a two blue joysticks for this thing, and I got them from Paradise Arcade Shop, which is great. Right now they're having a sale, ten dollars for an IL joystick, IL Euro, Euro sticks. So if you're looking for some good joysticks, that's the place to buy them. There's a IL Euro stick right there. There's another one right there. They're uh, great joysticks. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Talk to you soon.